All right, and welcome back. We have plastic surgeon Dr. Jared Nimps with us today. We're going to be talking about liposuction. I think we've I all it. heard of it. A lot of people have <laughs> thought about it, but maybe we don't know exactly what it is. So can you just explain to us what is liposuction and how does it work? Sure. Liposuction is a uh, surgical procedure where you can make a very small incision or series of incisions throughout the skin to suck out unwanted fat from whatever area on the body that you so desire. And we also know that there's only a certain amount of fat that you can surgically take out. What is that limit when we come to someone like you? Usually when you want to do everything all at once, you can do no more than 4,000 or 5,000 cc's at a time. Oh, wow. So that's, if you picture... What's that in pounds? You, you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's about 12 pounds. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. Well, that's this lot is what's fat. interesting, because you also do cool sculpting. What is the difference between cool sculpting and liposuction? Because people think cool sculpting is a form of liposuction. Yeah. Cool sculpting is a non-surgical procedure that is usually done in an office setting, um, where a series of applicators are put on the skin and that uh, cool down the skin and the underlying fat tissue in order to um, to kill that fat. Okay? Where does that fat so go? <laughs> well, your body <laughs> absorbs it and then it goes away. So mm -hmm. it is less predictable, some would say, than liposuction and you cannot take out as much tissue at any one time as you could with, with liposuction. I always see the cool sculpting on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. I doing <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and you I told do me it. the <laughs> other day. But I still don't think my butt would look like that, even if I. Mm -hmm. Well, did I the actually cool look. I always think uh, liposuction is great for people who have lost a lot of weight and just need to lose that extra bit as well, isn't it? Liposuction is good for people who are otherwise healthy and who yeah. have unwanted little pockets of fat in one place or another, and it does very well to to. Uh, sculpt the body in order to obtain that, that perfect silhouette that people are looking for. What are the main, where, where is the most popular part of the body? Why are you looking As at me? <laughs> He's looking me up and down, looking like, where did she get lipo such a No, I didn't mean that. I just. <laughs> You're like, where did she get? What's most I common? I should say that you don't need it at all. You're, you're perfect in every way, but. <laughs> Liposuction. True gentleman. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> liposuction is commonly wanted in the abdomen, in okay. the flanks, in the thighs. <laughs> okay. Those are common places. And who's a good candidate for liposuction? Liposuction is great for people who are otherwise healthy, no major medical issues okay. going on, uh, who have those little pockets that, that you're trying to get rid of. Uh, so I told some friends about this segment, and they all wanted to know if you have the fat sucked out, can you put it back in somewhere else? Is that you a myth? Oh, you hello. Do that? You can. <laughs> Uh, I've heard people do it, it in their not. face or in that's a very other areas. Common, that's a very common place for us to put fat. Well, and also in the breast. You were, you were right. uh, totally, you can <laughs> put it into the breast that area is, as well. That is becoming a new area where people are, are putting fat as opposed to doing a, um, a breast augmentation or something like that. And another common area to put it is into the buttocks to create oh. that, that Brazilian that Kim butt. Kardashian. That Kim Kardashian, as you said. All right, so before. go see Dr. Nims for the Kim Kardashian. Yeah. That's <laughs> what we need to do, of course. <laughs> we have a promotion deal as well, 20% off the surgeon's fee for up to two areas of liposuction through December 31, 2016. Now, of course, you have to go in, have a standard consultation, Correct. which is to see if you are the proper candidate. Yep. Because as you said, Dr. Jared, not everyone is the candidate for liposuction. Right. Uh, people are confused when they come in. Do I need liposuction? Do I need a tummy tuck? Do mm -hmm. I need something else? And so we go through that whole uh, process with them and help them decide what's best for them. What's the recovery time for liposuction? It depends on how much we're doing, but okay. basically you need at least a, a couple days to perhaps a week for most people. Wow. All right. Well, well we really appreciate interested. you coming in. <laughs> and look, if you want to find out more information, head over to our webpage at wwtvq.com forward slash midday. It'll be up on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We've had a fun show yes. today. We appreciate you being yes. on our it's second show. It's a pleasure show. to be here. Thank you Thank for Thank you so us. much. <laughs> we look forward to you telling us more about cosmetic surgery over the next year as well. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. See you all tomorrow. Bye -bye.